Hey everybody. I don't even know how to start this. First of all, Roman took the kids, took the big kids to uh, the souvenir shop that's close to here because they are both looking for um, like a little metal Eiffel Tower to take home. My mom informed me yesterday that my that my stepdad's mother passed away. I didn't want to talk about it yesterday. I just wasn't, I wasn't really able to. And I did my very best to just kind of power through for the kids and just make sure that I stayed in a good mood yesterday. It was just a hard day for a lot of reasons, but hi. Thank you. Are you having fun in Paris? Yeah. Do you like Paris? Yeah. My mom sent a message and then I read it yesterday before going to the Eiffel Tower. And then just kind of like a, a knee jerk reaction just said, oh my gosh, Grandma Lois passed away. And then the kids heard it. And then, and then we were all kind of funky for the rest of the day. We made the best of it, but it was definitely kind of an odd day trying to process that loss and also trying to maintain um, a positive attitude for the kids so that they, so that their day wasn't completely ruined because it was a, a fun day for them as well as trying to allow them a place to um, express their grief in a way that allows them to process the loss that they felt and experienced because they both, they were both really sad. They loved their grandma Lois. The kids absolutely adored opening the cards from her that always had a song or a movement or, or something or, or lit up or, they just, they were wild. So yesterday, the kids and I, we hugged before going to, uh, uh, going on top of the Eiffel Tower. And I told the kids that Grandma Lois is in heaven and she's looking down on us. And they put it together that if we were on top of the Eiffel Tower, we'd be closer to her since we would be up in the sky, up high in the sky. When we got on top of the Eiffel Tower, the kids and I hugged, Roman was with Elliot, we just hugged and then we looked up into the sky. The kids said, I love you, Grandma Lois. It was just the sweetest little moment that I, that I had with my kids. And so now um, I feel like whenever we see the Eiffel Tower, we'll always just have that, that connection to her, which is really cool considering she was this feisty Cajun French woman who lived life on her terms up until the very end. I got a little bit of editing done and he's just kind of getting some wiggles out because we're gonna go out in a little bit. Yeah, we gotta get you dressed. Gotta get you dressed. All right, another day, another visit to the bakery. Second day. Second day, full day in Paris. I'm hearing French music. You hear music? The accordion. Yeah, we're walking right by Notre Dame. So thankful that it's still standing. My goodness. It has been through it the last few years, hasn't it? <laughs> Do you see it, Ellie? What, Linnea? Yeah, this is Quasimodo's house. That's right. You mean we talked the boy? To, yeah, the hunchback. <laughs> We talked about Quasimodo today before we came real. here. Uh, no, it's a story. Uh -oh. Quasimodo house was burning. It did a couple years ago, back in 2019, two years ago. There's a big fire here. Yep, and the very, very, very brave firemen and first responders, they saved very important things from the church, from the cathedral. They took it out and saved it. And somehow they managed to save most of the building too. It's just incredible. Heroes. They saved Quasimodo. Yeah, yeah they saved Quasimodo. <laughs> so this is it. It's, um, there's lots of scaffolding all around and, hey Belly. <laughs> Oh, you can see Quasimodo now. Hey, Noodles. Look at his little 
little feet in his little sandals. Where are your little toes? <laughs> Whoa, hopala. Okay, so we're here on the embankment here of the Seine, and we're going to catch our bateau bus, our water shuttle to, uh, we're just, I think, I think today, aren't we just riding it around for a while today? And then yeah. we're going to have a really chill day. Yesterday was a bit much. Yeah. Oh, are you starting up again? Elliot, you do not know how to swim. We're right here by the by Notre Dame, right here by the cathedral, and oh, it's so peaceful down here. It's so quiet. I love it. back over to the Eiffel Tower. We wanted to take some family photos. Hey, I'm showing you guys the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower. Look how beautiful it looks. Look how beautiful it looks, guys. Yeah. Are you happy with your footage? Yeah, but, okay. but, but I didn't take pictures. That's that, I don't know where to take pictures. Oh, it's okay. I'm back at the playground. Same one as yesterday. Oh, there goes El Elliot. <laughs> and there goes Linnea. <laughs> oh my goodness. A bunch of little birdie friends all over the place. Oh. Hi guys. Oh, they're so cute. Oh my goodness. We're just having a little resty rest. Luckily, it's not that sunny. So we've got a lot of clouds, which is nice. So we have nice weather. It's cool, keeps it cooler. Actually, the weather's been really nice, huh? Hello? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the kids are just playing. We came back to the Eiffel Tower to get pictures because wanted to document the fact that we were here. So we came back and got pictures and luckily we asked one person, got the pictures done right away and now we're just over here at the playground. They're so cute, they're having fun. I'm happy that they just get to play. Hey. Hey, Mr. Blue Stripes. <gasps> Elliot. Elliot. How are you going to do this? This is called Mama trying funny, to get Elliot. <laughs> as long as I'm funny and not funny looking. <laughs> you are not funny looking, you are funny. Funny! Callum, what in the world? This is called trying to get Elliot to take a nap. But Callum's pushing, so it's not happening. We're making our way back over to the Eiffel Tower. We've been here a lot. I guess there are worse things because you the weather's really you nice. Guys here before. Oh yeah, mommy and papa honeymooned here. That's where we came after we got married. What's that? That is candy floss, as it's called in the UK, or cotton candy, as I, I call it in the US. Candy. Do you call it cotton candy or candy floss? Cotton candy. Cotton candy. I, I call it the most 
Candy floss. Oh, candy floss. That's your time in the UK then, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah, we need to put masks back on kids, okay? Luckily, we're just getting through here. We're not staying too many people. So beautiful. And look, this is what we do. We just walk here on the side. Come on, Nini. I'm all safe. You okay? Yeah. This is Elliot's with applesauce. Is that good? Oh, come here's yours. Come see, let me see. And how is it? Good. It's very good. I love this cut. Oh, that looks so good. It's called a cut. You've got one too? Yeah, yours has applesauce. Oh, let me see. Oh, Linnea. Mmm. And, wie schmeckt's? Good. Um. Mm. Okay, everyone look at mommy. Cheese. I don't know if it's a pre-dinner snack or if it's dinner. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We got something. Dinner? Well, Cam's probably dinner for him. <laughs> yeah, quite good. All right. Mmm. Schmeckt it here? Mmm. Roman, I love this apartment. <sighs> I love it. I love the atmosphere. I love that we can just look right out the window. You totally stole Papa's ice, Elliot. <laughs> Did you steal Papa's ice? <laughs>